Well, hello everyone. So we're going to try a little bit di something different today with the camera. Uh, I got it mounted on my chest and I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me a whole lot better. And you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So today we're going to weed this bed. Got sweet potatoes down there and yellow squash here with a volunteer potato. Now that potato is likely to be a problem. So it may not stay here. We'll have to see. And I think we're just gonna do half of this at a time. Yesterday after I planted, well, let's walk down here. Yesterday I planted some squash right here in front of the cucumbers, right? Right after I did, something came in and eight right there okay but before that happened i planted some squash down here and i went inside and took a break and came back out and lo and behold if something didn't eat the top off of this and on that one and so that one's probably this first one's not going to make it i don't think but this one they might have left enough for it to make it I'm not sure but it really kind of tripped me out that that happened because these have been just sitting unprotected on the sidewalk over there and nothing bothered it until I brought it down here and then immediately this happens and I thought I'd cut something and covered this up but I don't see the deer net anywhere. But it hasn't bothered this stuff yet. These are some other squash. Those are zucchinis, I think. But anyway, let's get to weeding. I guess I could move this down there. This ain't really doing nothing here. We'll just bring this and set it here just to discourage. Because that's all this is, really. I just. Encouragement. It's like, don't mess with my stuff. And yeah, I'm using deer fence as bird netting. But hey, it, it does the job, so what's it matter? <clears throat> so today's going to be a lot like yesterday, temperature wise. It's going to be 66 today. Um, right now, let's see, you can see that it says 63, so it's not going to get much warmer, and the sun is out at the moment, but it's been cloudy all morning. You can hear the cicada just a-going. This morning, it got down to 36 degrees. And I was tripping when I saw the thermometer. They were only off by 10 degrees of what it was going to get to. They're so reliable. So some of these weeds here are so tiny. And they're just coming right up. These things I don't like. Well, I don't like any of these weeds, these grasses either. So, but I brought my, this is the closest, the smallest little thing I got. This soil here is really soft. This is the bed that I put compost in last year. Everything grows great in this soil now. Um, the compost, you know, broke down all summer, last summer, and over the winter, of course. And then it's been mixed into the clay soil twice now. Nope, I take that back three times. And these are going to grow into trees, maple trees. I, they're sprouting everywhere. Uh, 
this bed is full of big worms. If I was to just dig in here, the worms that we would find are just fantastic. And super wiggly. And if I get to go fishing, I'm going to dig some worms out of this bed. So my weeding technique is kind of pick and flick. I need to get this bed cleaned out. Now I know down on that side, I'm going to weed today anyway, but probably be the only time this year I'll have to weed down there because that's sweet potato vines and it will uh, just cover everything see here's a maple tree started those vines will cover everything and block all the light and they may even come down here and cause some interference with this stuff I could do like this and I'll get done a whole lot faster See, doing that, I'm worried about these grasses staying in the dirt and then just continuing to grow. Uh, I'll just use a combo technique, I guess. And out here, we've got native and a heavy population even of um, morning glories which are related to the sweet potatoes so I'm sure sweet potatoes are going to do really good this is morning glory and it looks just like the sweet potato well maybe not exactly like but you can tell they're related I wonder how I can get this potato to not overtake these things without pulling it up. I don't know if I can do that. See last year the compost wasn't as composted I guess is the word as it is now. It was really good soil management. It's just now it's even better. And uh, anyway my point is that the Everything I planted in here last year grew great. I had potatoes all through here. and But it stayed dry because it was so airy. Now I've mixed that compost very well with the soil, the clay. And it's made it nice and loose. Yet the clay will retain moisture, so everything should grow good this year. That's my hope. Okay. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay and see this video well. These insects are so loud. So after reading some comments online, and in some other groups, I'm noticing that these cicadas have not emerged everywhere yet. And they're probably wishing they hadn't come up here either because it got cold. I mean, it, it almost froze last night, you know. They like warm temperatures. Yeah, so as long as it doesn't freeze, they'll live. I came out here this morning put something in the mailbox and it was you know 36 degrees and they were silent not even one of them was going so that's pretty neat now I don't know if you can pick it up but there are two different sounds that these cicadas make they're distinctly different 
One of them is to try to attract the mate. It's the male singing. And the other one is after they've already attracted a mate. And I can hear the second one today for the first time. I'm listening to some music at the moment. I wish I could play this music for you, but YouTube will give me a copyright strike. And with it being a young channel with not a lot of viewers and subscriptions yet, it, it doesn't matter as much. It might actually help my channel because the other, whoever owns the copyright of the music would get the ad revenue. I'm not monetized. But YouTube might show you a commercial, but I'm not getting nothing for it. But the holder of the music, they might. And so they would promote the video and more viewers would get it. Yeah, I, my, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got a cat and it won a contest this past October and was awarded America's favorite pet, cat. Okay, so Boogaroo has his own YouTube channel. That's his name. And on one of his videos, the TV was running in the background playing some music and lo and behold there was a copyright violation on it and that's exactly what happened to it is the video took off and got lots of views well, it's already it already been published so it's not like I could go back and take the music off but I did learn from that not to do that. But I know there's channels out there that they got good music. It's not mainstream yet. But it just makes a video more interesting if you can have some tunage playing. There's a lot of super tiny ones over here. I'm going to have to use the handbrake hoe thing or whatever you call it. I don't even know. The soil is making the weeds come out pretty darn easy. I like it. Down in that other bed down there, soil is very tough and hard. It's difficult to weed. This stuff here is not like that. Lots of morning glory seeds. So every year I let the morning glories come up around the front deck over there and they just cover it and then they fill with flowers and it looks pretty neat for a while it just spread seeds everywhere but out here in the garden you know I, I pull all of them so I can't help but wonder where do the seeds come from Because the only place I let them grow is over there, and that's like 30 feet away from here. So I don't know if birds are transporting them. Right. 
I saw rain starting to move in. It could be raining here in the next two hours, I think. It's not going to be a lot of rain. It's not going to be a washout. But I sure don't want to kneel in the wet. So I can came out here now. I don't know what's up with the sun because it's only 63, 64 out here. But the sun is shining on me and it's burning my skin. Something's different with it. I just don't get it. I just feel it. It's actually warmer on my shirt and that's like backwards. But I guess we live in backwards world now. Temporarily. It's not going to stay that way. So if y'all like this new video. The way this is. If it turns out we might do more of them like this. Instead of. The way it was before. Because you really couldn't hear me good. The, the audio was all messed up. Well, I wouldn't say it's messed up. It's just heavily muted and the cicadas are just overpowering the audio. Just listening to one of my videos I made the other day. And very disappointed at the way it picks up. Picks up. You know, the camera I'm using right now has really good video. Nothing to complain about there. Some little things to I know this isn't a hundred percent, but it's the idea of weeding is anybody who's had a garden knows that it's an ongoing thing all season. It's Try to keep them down. Don't let them get big. Okay, so we pretty much got all the squash here weeded out. There might be a piece of grass here and there, but now we get to move over here. Let's flip this the other way. At some point soon, this will come off. It probably doesn't need to be here now, but I don't want to lose them because when they're little, those sprouts, that's what the animals like to eat is baby sprouts. Nice and tender. Once they start getting a little older, they're tough and them critters aren't really interested anymore. Well, depending on what it is, right? Yeah, I gotta pay attention out here because, like I said, there's morning glories out here growing, and they look very much similar to my sweet potatoes. Now I lost some to an early or late frost, whatever. I planted this stuff a little early, I guess. And I lost some of them. I had them covered up. But I've started some more slips. And for those of you who are not familiar with that, I take to make your own slips with a go to the grocery store. Buy a sweet potato that you you like. Tastes good, looks good, all that stuff. And you basically uh, 
You put it in a thing of water, lay it on a, some soil and keep it part of it wet, moist, and it will send out roots and roots and shoots. And you let them get some size to them. And you can take the shoots, pull them off the sweet potato, and put those in a different glass of water and it will send out roots. And once it does that, you can take it and put it in the ground and it will grow a sweet potato vine. Anyway, that process is called making slips. And that's what all these are. I purchased two sweet potatoes. And once that died, I ended up getting a, a third one to make new. And I'm probably going to have more slips than room. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I don't want to waste them. I know last year I tried growing these in a... Um, containers and I've seen videos where it works out pretty good for some people and so I was like oh yeah let's try that well I had different results way different um, but I also to be fair I planted last year our sweet potatoes late because it was like a last minute thing I decided to try and Boy, I didn't, I didn't give it enough time, I think. So this year, I got these things in here right at the beginning. So if they're going to make potatoes, they should have some size to them instead of just being these little bitty things. I've always liked sweet potatoes. Didn't get a lot growing up. I had to move down here to, to the south and I got to discover them and now I love them. You can see how this got damaged here from the cold. Still alive, but it doesn't seem to. It's just now starting to grow out again. That's okay, as long as it grows. It's got time, right? If it doesn't freeze again, I mean, it's May and it is almost fro froze last night. Halfway through May, and. It doesn't seem like the south when it does that. These things seem like they... There's some wild lettuce trying to grow. And it's not like lettuce you would put in a salad. It's just called wild lettuce. Because it is in the same family, I guess. But it grows tall, way tall. Under the right conditions, it will go over your head. I don't know if you've ever seen it, if you know what I'm talking about. I didn't know what it was to last year. Saw it on some video. And it's growing all over my yard, and I, I don't like it. It's hard to get rid of. So like right here, if you look right here, this right here is a morning glory. This is a sweet potato. Wow, they look the same. And, and it was growing right next to my actual sweet potato. But if I wouldn't have known that I planted them, then it would have been a problem.
See, this isn't going to take a real long time to do. These grasses, so they'll be, they'll, they'll end up trying to be a problem later. Maybe not in this bed. They'll be here, but then maybe not as bad as some of the other beds. I need to go get some more compost so that they can break down if needed and get mixed into the soil later. Yep. Weeding isn't hard work. It's a way to get out here and get get some fresh air, get a little bit of sun. Kind of get climatized to the summer heat that's coming. I tell you, it sure is weird having the run the heat every day here for the past week with it being the middle of may so this is the kind of grass right here that i'm gonna have problems with this roots are deep it just broke off it sends whatever it is it's it sends up these runners like this I don't know if you can see that. This one right here. Let's go down after it. Okay, it just broke. But this is coming, I think, from something over here. And those are the kind that are hard to, to get up later in the year. Because they just get stronger and stronger. Okay, so here, here's another two more morning glories. So what helps setting them apart is one, they're not in the row. They're not in line with the rest I planted. Right. So that helps me know that, hey, that's not the right stuff. But it won't be long. These other ones will be growing so well. Probably choke most of this stuff out, but if I miss something now, I might not know that it, I missed it later. Like this one, it's almost in the row, but I know that I started out with just four in each row. Yeah, this this one here on the end, I don't think it's looking too good. But this one I thought was dead too, and you can see it's actually sending up a couple shoots. There's that breeze. It's kind of wild. The, the wind is blowing the opposite direction from where the clouds and rain are coming from. You'd think it'd blow it away, but it's bringing it here instead. another one of them grass things yep 
I have not used chemicals in these beds along the bottom of the fence there I did use chemicals there are and if you could have saw what this place looked like when I bought it this entire fence line over there was growed up with trees and brush on both sides of the fence at least 10 foot on each side and more this side than the other because it gets more sun but it was growing up I had all these I had the, the guy that cuts my lawn also does trees and they came in here and mowed, uh, mowed it they cut it all down with chainsaws and hauled everything off Well, mostly they didn't need as much on the other side of the fence for hauling off, but they uh, they did really good on on it. And down by the where the sunflowers are over there, that was all growed up and wild and had trees and vines and it was just a thick mess. And the whole back fence overgrown it was just neglected and the fence needs lots of repairs and I had planned on doing it this year and now lumber has gone insane along with the rest of the world so just sitting there waiting probably still repair it because I, I just need what four posts the four by four posts um, eight foot length four bags of concrete to put them in the ground and hold them secure and then I need to get maybe six two by fours and this is all treated wood so it's gonna cost a little bit but it's gonna be cheaper than building a deck I saw some funny memes online where somebody built this deck you couldn't even walk out on it because it's so small because you know they're making fun of the price of wood and they made a caption about how it cost sixteen hundred dollars for this one foot by two foot deck yep, it was kind of funny looking see there that that little piece right there I don't know if you can see that but that's what's left of the sweet potato that I put in that got damaged by the frost and it may still come up but I've got something else to put there anyway and if I got too many maybe I'll just stick them down in the same bed yeah I think we're done with this bed. I'm sure I could go through here at the magnifying glass and find more little pieces of grass. You're probably seeing stuff I missed. But it looks a lot better than it did. Okay, 
I'm not going to do a whole lot out here today. I need to get a rake and rake up some grass clippings. They're going to be back out here in four days. My tomatoes are just growing still. That's what we want. That one looks like it's trying to escape or something. I need for it to grow more upright so it can get up in this fence. There's more morning glories coming up. Looking good. Yep, so I got these old discs out here. I used them last year to try to keep birds away. And you know what? It worked. The wind blew and got everything all twisted up. Wow. It might be easier to. Start these up, just get new ones. Cut this off, and because this is super twisted. Wow. I don't have my glasses, so can't see what the, what I need to do to undo it. Well, that fixed it, didn't it? Oh, it really broke it. I don't think the bird's gonna care. It'll still reflect light. So there. Let's put this in the trash. It's nice and sparkly. Got another one over here. <sighs> Yay. Okay, well, I hope this video turns out. And uh, we'll check you all in the next one. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like sweet potatoes. If you are, are you a gardener or or not? I uh, I guess technically I am, but I'm not an expert by any stretch. I'm just a hobby, have fun, see what happens kind of gardener. Um. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in.